So I've been working away on my medallion quilt and I wanted to take just a moment and do a little bonus quick tip on preserving points when you are sewing. I love making all my points match. It's something that brings me a lot of joy for some reason. I think I'm just getting fussier in my kind of old age. Now making points match is about sewing accuracy, it's about seam allowance accuracy, and it's also about knowing when to fudge your seam line to make it all come together. Now seam allowance accuracy and sewing accuracy are a whole different kind of ball of wax. Um, I have gone over how to get really great seam allowance accuracy in another video and sewing accuracy just comes with time. So today I'm going to show you about fudging your seam lines to preserve your points. I am sewing along on this seam and I am coming up to this point of my flying goose. Now since my seam allowances are pressed open, I can see where that point is from the wrong side of my fabric. Now this point is less than a quarter of an inch away from the edge of my flying goose unit. If I were to just sew this with just a quarter of an inch seam, I would clip off the top of that flying goose unit. And when I opened up this seam, there would be like a little blunt tip of uh, the flying goose point. And I don't want that. I want a nice perfect point that comes right to the seam line where this border meets the center. So as I am sewing, I'm going to keep an eye on this point right here. This point right here where I can see, because my seam allowances are pressed open, my point. I am even going to grab my stiletto. And if you don't stow, stow. <laughs> so if you aren't sewing with a stiletto and all a stiletto is, is a piece of metal with a really kind of, it's not super sharp, like it's not going to cut you, but you could probably stab someone with it. But it's just a tiny little piece of metal that you can use to direct your fabric right as it goes kind of into the needle area without sticking your fingers into the inner workings of your sewing needle area and sewing over your finger. So I'm gonna grab my stiletto and I'm just gonna kind of guide this point of my flying goose. Now, as I approach the needle with this piece, with this point, I am going to change my seam line so that I sew just to the outside of this point even though that will leave me with less of a quarter of an inch seam allowance here. I'm just gonna slow down and make sure my needle comes just to the outside of that yellow point. Okay, I am past it. So now I'm gonna guide my seam here back against my seam allowance guide. I wanna get back to that full quarter of an inch seam allowance. Once that's done, I can just finish out my seam. So here's what we are left with. A full quarter inch seam for a lot of the length of the seam. And then we kind of just cheat out and go around that point. Now, is that gonna distort your perfect border? Probably a little bit, just like a thread width. But it's gonna make all the difference in how it looks because we have our perfect point right there. And I do that with all of my points so that my points are all exactly where they need to be. So I have gone ahead and pressed open that seam and now you can see that this flying goose unit comes to a perfect point right where we want it to be. Instead of looking like, like a little stubby, blunt nose flying goose. We want that nice point to be preserved so that your quilt looks amazing. And the back of the quilt, it's kind of a mess. It doesn't look great because our seam allowance isn't 
perfect there. It was a little hard to press because the seam allowance was a little, little thin, a little on the thin side, but you know what? No one's going to see the inside of your quilt. So focus on what you are going to see for the long term, and don't worry about the inside. The inside will be next to the batting and you'll never have to think about it again. So if you have to fudge your seam allowance to make your points perfect, then take advantage of that as a tool because seam allowance accuracy and sewing accuracy will come for you as you sew and quilt more. But this is a tool that you can use right now. You can always kind of float that seam line to capture a point if you need to. So that is my little tip for preserving points when you're sewing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like making these little quick tips. If you like them as well, please like and subscribe to the channel because it really does help and it costs you nothing. It's totally for free. I will see you guys again. We will be continuing to work on this medallion quilt throughout the summer and then I'll be back with new quilts in the fall. Happy quilting! <laughs>